Where are the Eagles and uh, their quarterback right now? Is Jalen Hurts going to be one of those guys? Because I know you're not going to say, oh, he's good enough. They have to sign him, and yes, they could win a Super Bowl with him. There, He's in that gray area, that nebulous middle area. What would you suggest to Howie Roseman right now? Do they have to sign Jalen Hurts the same way the Cardinals just signed Jalen uh, no, no, they don't. And that's my point. This, uh, that Jalen Hurts is never going to be Kyler Murray. And I don't okay. believe in Kyler Murray. No, Kyler so Murray's I'm, above the line. Jalen Hurts is below the line. Oh, uh, uh, Kyler Murray is way above Jalen Hurts. Way, way above Jalen Hurts. Um, so you don't like Jalen Hurts at all. Because if you if Kyler Murray's way above Jalen Hurts, and, Jaylen, and Kyler Murray isn't good enough to actually make you believe you can win a Super Bowl with him, then Jalen Hurts isn't even close. It is a football Friday here on Birds 365 as the countdown continues to the 2022 season. And the Eagles are mere handful of days away before they report to camp. So we'll be breaking down the birds all day. Two good bird guests coming your way. And Johnny Mac, for the next several hours, chances are we'll be talking about quarterbacks. We won't be talking about the punting competition. Mm. If there is one for the Philadelphia Eagles this Mm. year, still isn't possible on paper since Eagles don't have a second punter on the roster. No, we will be talking about quarterback because yesterday's signing could change the landscape of quarterback and values in the National Football League. Josh Rosen is the backup quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. Could reset the entire <laughs> market. He's a stone cold bust. What the hell? I, I I I went down the road of could Gardner Minshew interest the Cleveland Browns yesterday? Uh, they they should have been listening to me, not signing Josh Rosen. Yeah, Browns yeah. going nowhere fast. Anyway, no, uh, the quarterback that I referred to is, of course, Kyler Murray. New deal. It's not, I should, well, it's an extension, but the first deal has to end first, including his rookie season, and then pick up five years thereafter. So he's under contract for the uh, next seven years with the Arizona Cardinals at $230.5 million, (laughs) which, of course, is $0.5 million. You say $0.5. Yeah, that's $500,000, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. 0.5 million more than Deshaun Watson to make a point. Uh, yes, the quarterback market, and this happens all the time. It's nothing new for this offseason. Happens every offseason. We're just paying closer attention to what's going down now. The quarterback market is ever changing, Johnny Mac. Yes, it is. Uh, so, technically, you know, if you, if you want to go, obviously the most important part is fully guaranteed money. And that's why Deshaun's contract is better because everything is fully guaranteed. Um, but, you know, this one kind of said, man, you know what? <laughs> this got me thinking like we, we, we've talked about Jalen Hurts and potential extensions after this season and what it's going to be. My God, I mean, at, I'm I'm at the point where it's number ten now in the NFL is thirty five million. That's how quickly things have changed over the last calendar year. You've had Aaron Rodgers, you've had Deshaun Watson, now you have Kyler Murray, Josh Allen back in September, Derek Carr, Matthew Stafford, on and on and on and on. Thirty five million dollars is the number ten slots. In, in the NFL right now from an average annual value perspective. And guess what, Jody? It's only going up. Joe Burrow's down the pike. Justin Herbert's down the pike. You think they're going to ask for less than $230.5 million? I mean, that's that's the starting point. That's like, I'm not taking that. We, we Jen, we got one in the offing. You got to wait at least a yeah, year Lamar. for and Lamar Jackson yeah. showed up for Ravens camp yesterday, whether he he's not holding out. So will he play in and show up and say, I'm here, but yeah, I really don't want to practice because I don't want to take the chance of getting hurt. So we, we need to figure out the particulars, but Lamar Jackson's already got an MVP in his back pocket. Kyler Murray doesn't have one of these. <clears throat> so yeah. how does, how does Lamar Jackson's negotiation start 
at less than 230 but make it 231 so he goes slightly yeah higher no than... he'll be he'll be in that group i just think i brought up burrow and herbert because i think they're even going to be higher uh because of their potential uh and moving forward the way they're looked at and upon the league the, the thing with lamar he's got to get an agent you know sorry lamar you got to get an agent you got to start at uh 231 as you said yeah and he'll get he'll get more than than kyler barry he should get more by the way um and then you'll keep going from there and you keep going from there my my point from an Eagles perspective, because that's the most important, that's what you got to do. I mean, if you're the Arizona Cardinals, that's what you got to do. And and for me, Kyler Murray kind of puts it in into a uh, a nice little bow for me because he's obviously a very good player. Uh, he's explosive. Uh, he's he's one of the most dynamic players in the league. He certainly turned that franchise around. But I don't know. I don't consider him to be. Uh, a superstar. I consider him to be a splashy guy who makes a lot of splashy plays that can win games for you. But I don't look at him as the, all right, that guy's going to make me consistent year in and year out, year out. But people can debate that. That that That's why I put it into focus to me. Jalen Hurts is never getting to Kyler Murray's level. Not, not even close. I'm sorry. People don't want to hear that. Ain't happening. Does, doesn't have that talent level, doesn't have that skill set. I don't want to pay him. I don't want to pay. I'm to the point where, and by him, I mean Kyler Murray, I don't want to pay him that. Uh, it, it hamstrings my ability to build a, a championship roster around him. The Cardinals have to pay him that. So you're stuck in this NBA mentality of, and I don't like it, and, and you know, it's like, you got to get certain guys or you don't have a chance. I'm not saying we're there in the NFL, but boy, we're getting close when it comes to the quarterback position because there's only, I don't know, how how deep do you want to go, Jody? I, I would put Rodgers in the category. I would put Mahomes, Allen. You know, Stafford just won the Super Bowl, but he's 34. I don't even know if I put him in the category. Um, and, and Burrow and, and Herbert, because those are the two young quarterbacks that I really like. Um, and that's about evaluation more than anything else. Um, even the next level, the 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 whoever you want to put Deshaun Watson, I, I I don't I don't I don't know. I mean, I saw him win four games with the. Now that was a really bad roster. And he's a really great player, but shouldn't shouldn't I can't picture? A, a, here's here's kind of what I'm trying to say, and I'm stumbling. I can't picture Aaron Rodgers winning four games. I I don't care what you give him. Talk about losing Devontae Adams. Talk about losing whoever you want. I can't picture him winning four games in a season if he's healthy. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at this stage. Now, as he ages out, it, um, you know, he's still, he's getting older, still in the prime of his career. There's certain guys, and that's why I say about Pete Manning, you know, once he hit the ground running, obviously he struggled the first year. Once he hit the ground running, it's double digits, double digits, double digits, double digits, consistent. I always say Indianapolis would start with, hey, 10 wins is going to be a bad season. That's a bad season. You could mark down 10 wins. And if you get to 13, that's a good season. <laughs> you know, if you're at 11 or 12, you're saying, ah, we struggled a little bit. And then you get to the playoffs and you roll the dice. Boy, I mean, this to me, we're going to talk about it because we have to talk about it for another year. Eagles can't move forward with Jalen Hurts, period. End of sentence. So, oh, But you got to move forward with somebody. Yeah, so you churn it over. That's what I'm saying. You go to the college system. You know, the Eagles don't want to go lame duck. If you want to go lame duck, if you want to go all four years, go all four years. I don't care. Roll it over. Say you got a quarterback for four years. And if he doesn't prove to be that superstar quarterback, and I mean tippy-top superstar quarterback, roll it over. Maybe it's five years if it's a first-round pick. Roll it over. 
Don't pay these guys. Don't pay the $35 million quarterbacks of the world, the Kirk Cousins, the Derek Carrs. Derek Carrs ahead of that. Um, don't pay the pay those guys. You're you're just hamstringing your ability. You're better off going the Jimmy Garoppolo route. Go the game manager route. Try to win games. Try to build the rest of the roster. But he's overpaid too. So it it, it really is a conundrum, Jody. It really is. So what would you suggest the Baltimore Ravens do? The Ravens are in the top. They got to pay Lamar. They got to pay just like oh, he, Arizona. He's above the line for you. Yes, he's above the – well, he's above the line from the perspective I know they have to pay him. From my personal line, he's not above the line. I know Arizona had to pay Kyler Murray. I can't criticize Arizona for paying Kyler Murray. They had to do it. That's I, – I mean – they had to do it. But ultimately, I think personally, it's not going to work. It's not going to get him a championship. He's not at that level where you, you – and, and well, by you the way – If you were the GM, you would advise the owner, we got to let this guy walk. No, I, I just believe. said you have to pay him. You have to pay him. But deep in the dark whoa, whoa, recesses – Whoa, 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 whoa. You got to explain this to me. So, you I'm say simple. you have to pay him, but you say you wouldn't pay them. So no, I'm trying to figure I out said, where – Fighting line is. I said I would pay him. I would pay Kyler Murray. I would play Lamar Jackson. But then I would go to my office and I would shut out the light and I would know deep down I have no chance. That's the difference. Isn't you got to do it? As the general manager of the team to give your team a chance. There's politics. There's you know this, Jody. Not everything's in a vacuum. You know you you got to sell tickets. There's marketing. There's there's these these people are the pace of the franchises. They're successful. You can't argue to the public that, well, I know Kyler's really good. I know he's the number one overall pick. I know the numbers he picks up. I know he turns us into a championship, uh, a, a playoff level team. I know he he does this, he does that, and then you're going to try to spin to him. Oh, but by the way, let's go back to the crappy Arizona Cardinals until we play Sixers. For what for fifteen years and keep rolling it over and keep rolling it over and keep rolling. You can't sell that to the public, but that's the way I feel personally. So you know you got to play the game. Unfortunately, the way you play the game. But my personal belief is, you're, you, everything has to be perfect to win with these quarterbacks, and it might be. You know we've seen it in the past. You can spike and 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 win a year here or there. But when you're talking about consistency, like what Andy Reid preached, what Andy Reid tried to build, what Andy Reid has built is, you know, be consistent every year, get in the dance, and then roll the dice and maybe the stars align. And people will criticize Andy Reid. They have here. You know, he never won here. He only won one with Patrick Mahomes. Only one. I hate that term. Um, and they still say, he should have won this. He should have won that. He should have won more. Everybody says that, but the realistic job of a GM is to be consistent job of a GM as a coach to put you in the position to win each and every year. It becomes so much more difficult if you're paying $45, $50 million to good quarterbacks, but not great quarterbacks, but that's the cost of doing business at that position. Right, and that's so, the difficulty of the Eagles have right now. Right. So that's where I'm going next. If you believe that the Cardinals, to use your phrase, had to pay Kyler Murray, they had to do it. But you don't really believe he's good enough to win them the championship. But they had to do it just to sustain their fan base and the other reasons that you gave. Where are the Eagles and their quarterback right now is Jalen Hurts going to be one of those guys because I know you're not going to say oh he's good enough they have to sign him and yes they could win a Super Bowl with him there he's in that gray area that nebulous middle area what would you suggest to Howie Roseman right now do they have to sign Jalen Hurts the same way the Cardinals just signed uh no, no, they don't and that's my point this uh, that Jalen Hurts is never going to be Kyler Murray and I don't okay. believe in Kyler Murray. So Kyler so Murray's I'm, above the line. Jalen Hurts is below the line. Oh, uh, uh, Kyler Murray is way above Jalen Hurts. Way, way above Jalen Hurts. Um, so you don't like Jalen Hurts at all? Because if you if Kyler Murray's way above Jalen Hurts 
And Jalen and Kyler Murray isn't good enough to actually make you believe you can win a Super Bowl with him. Then Jalen Hurts isn't even close. And that's why I said that's why I put a it put it put the for me it put the punctuation on it, Jody. That contract it put the punctuation. I'm already I'm 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 I I've already made my decision. I'm trying to get C.J. Stroud. I'm trying to get Bryce Young. I'm tr- I'm turning this thing over. If I can't get him, maybe maybe I I I let him play out his contract. Um, I'm going the college route. I'm turning this thing over. I'm not paying mediocre quarterbacks thirty five million dollars. There's yeah. no stinking way. There um, is no stinking way I'm doing that as a GM. I am not there yet. Oh, I could get there depending on how. Uh... Mr. Hertz plays this year, but uh, I know we all want to make decisions this minute. I just and, did. <laughs> yeah, and you know, feel free, Johnny Mac. And guess what? If if you're right, if if Jalen Hurts has a lousy year this year, the fact I that... And by the way, I don't think he is. August, the July 22nd, on July 22nd, John McMullen got on record and said, Jalen Hurts is not getting an extent. There's no way he's staying here. We're turning over. The Eagles are drafting a quarterback next year. It's nice that you got out ahead of the game, but it really doesn't signify anything. No, because they because can't I'm not draft. Sure. Not only can't they draft either doesn't young signify and anything or because I'm, that, I don't think they're going to be in position to do that. So we don't even know who the other potential guys would be. So it's nice to make a command decision at this point. There's nothing you can do about it. You got well, to play no, out I'm not, this I'm, year. I'm, I'm not in charge, but I've already made the decision. I first of all, the Eagles people forget, and the Eagles do a good job of this. And I said they already tried to get better this offseason. So the old adage is don't listen to what a team does, watch what they do. They wanted Russell Wilson, they wanted Deshaun Watson. Now you could say they and by the way, Kyler Murray's another one. When Kyler was, you know, m- m- making some noise about getting out of Arizona, um, I don't think anybody really took um, Arizona uh, that seriously because they knew Arizona was not going to let him get away. But the Eagles didn't seem to have any real interest in Kyler Murray, which kind of blew my mind a little bit. But, uh, well, you know. Maybe they believe the <laughs> the Johnny Mac wrecking that this guy's just not good enough. Yeah, but he's way better. See, that's my problem, Jody. He's not good enough, and he's way better. That's my problem. That's my personal problem. He he's he's way better, and he's not good enough. He's not he's not he's not the Mahomes. He's not he's not the Josh Allen. He's not the oh, Aaron, he's, he, Aaron you're right. Rogers. He's neither he's neither of those two guys. We're talking about. He doesn't have the potential of Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. Those mm-hmm. are the two young guys that I that I look at. Um, so he's really good. He's not good enough. And Jalen can't reach that ceiling. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say that yet. Could he get to Kyler Murray's level? Maybe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not writing that off. Can he get to Josh Boy. Allen's level? No. Can he get to Mahomes' level? No. That's not happening. But I'm not writing off Kyler Murray just yet. And here's the beauty of it: we don't have to decide today. I'm glad that John did. More power to you. But. It doesn't matter. They can't do anything. And, they and they the couldn't way, make a say. commitment to them if they wanted to. It's no, against the rules. I know. And by the way, I'm not saying I'm not saying Jalen's going to have a bad year. I think he's going to have a good year. I think the Eagles are going to make the playoffs. Uh, I his ceiling is not the ceiling you need to pay somebody forty five million dollars, even thirty five million dollars. I don't want to pay that ceiling. I don't want 35 is, is again, then you're in the Kirk Cousins range. I don't want any part of that. So, look, I, unfortunately, and I wrote this on Jacob Sports, in a lot of ways, the rest of the league and the way they're paying elite quarterbacks are making the Eagles' decision easy. They're making the Eagles' decision easy. Easy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not ready to go there yet. I'm going to give Jalen Hurts this year to show that he's not good enough. And then if he is, it's an easy decision. We got we got months before we have to get to the end of the year. We got to let him play out this season. And then we got to see. He's going to make the playoffs. Then it's only going to get op- obfuscated by playoffs and um, spin 
and narrative. Eagles know. Eagles already know. They know. Yeah. They know. They they may know, but they can't act on it until after the year is come and gone. He's John McMullen. I'm Johnny McDonald with the Mac and Mac guys. All right, you know who's coming up next? John Stolis, our buddy who does uh, uh, articles for Bleeding Green Nation and his uh, podcast, Eye on the Enemy, as well. Uh, a must listen for you Eagle fans out there. John Stolis up next here on Birds 365.